Hello, all of you very gloriously wonderful people. Earlier today, System Era announced that the second automation update has been delayed. It was originally scheduled for release today if everything went according to plan. Well, sometimes things do not go according to plan and those plans have to change. I want to take a moment to talk to you about why I think this delay is a good thing. And at the very end of the video, I'll talk about the revised release plans for this update. In my update video yesterday, I talked about how the new medium gas canister and the existing resource canisters had new behavior. And I also talked about why I did not like this change. But I wasn't the only one who had this first impression. Other people who had the chance to try out the update before release also expressed concerns with this new canister behavior. And as people began to dig further, they realized some issues ran even deeper. So what was the big deal? Well, to start with, the canisters would not automatically begin pulling resources when output was disabled. You first had to essentially prime them by inserting a single resource nugget or gas canister that you wanted stored. That may not seem like a big deal at first, but let's break it down. Do you really want to stand around waiting on your auto extractor to complete a full resource nugget just so you could place it into a medium resource canister? And would you really want to twiddle your thumbs while you wait on the first gas canister to be completed on the atmospheric condenser? No, of course you don't want to do that. You want to set things up, turn it all on, and walk away. That is the whole point of automation. It lets you build up a resource collection system that you set up and then runs without your intervention. But beyond needing to prime canisters with a resource, there were a couple of other issues. Some people ran into a problem with resource canisters being unable to automatically pull any resource at all once they had been emptied. It didn't matter if they primed the canister or not. Once it had a resource and then had been fully emptied, it simply would not pull any resources into it ever again at all. I'm sure you can see the problem here. While you could manually fill these canisters one resource at a time, Nobody wants to do that. And we certainly don't want our canisters to only function one time before we have to shred them. In some cases, we were able to package an existing canister to get it working properly again, but if you have large bases with hundreds or even thousands of stored resources, you don't exactly want to spend the hours required to empty each canister since they have to be empty before you can package them. And don't forget, another issue with the new canister behavior meant they didn't empty to storage. They were able to empty to another canister, but let's break that down. To fix your canisters so they could automatically pull a resource again, you'd first need to build an identical new canister that can hold all the resources while you package the old one. So now you'd be spending resources to create a canister just to temporarily hold the stuff the original canister was holding. Yeah, that is not an ideal situation. Some players even ran into issues with auto arms being unable to move resources. While this particular bug did not happen to me, it was an issue that, on its own, would have been serious enough to delay the update. So players who had early access to this update began voicing our concerns to System Era. And being a studio that actually takes the time to listen and understand player concerns, System Era asked questions, asked for us to submit saves for them to look at, and begin to understand how disruptive this change could be for existing saves. In light of this feedback, they decided to hit the pause button on this update. And I think that's a very good thing. I know that delays bring about frustration and disappointment, but let's think this through and let's be honest with ourselves. Would we rather have an update today that breaks a lot of players' saves, causing them to spend countless hours and resources to get everything working again, or will we rather wait just a little bit longer and get an update that works better? Me, personally, I'd rather wait for the update where things work better. And I know that some of you will be thinking that it's easy for me to say that since I had early access to the update. Don't forget, I had access to the update with the canisters not really working the way I expected. And after I recorded Monday's video, I reverted back to the same version of Astroneer that everybody else has. That's because in the state I saw the update in, I decided I would rather wait for a new update, skipping access to all the other cool new stuff that works just fine, and wait for an update that has canisters working properly. So the whole point of this video is twofold. First, to communicate that the update has been delayed. I feel like I owe that to my subscribers since in yesterday's video, I said the update would be out today. I know some of my viewers do not follow Astronew on Twitter and are not part of the Astronew Discord, so you might not have even been aware of the delay. And second, this video is my way of saying I think the delay is a good thing. Sure, in a perfect world, things would have just worked fine and there would have been no delay at all, but that didn't happen. 
To paraphrase something that Joe said when Ashton was still back in early access, six months from now, people really won't remember a short delay for an update. But had they released the update today with canisters and auto arms pretty much broken, people would have remembered that for quite some time. So it is okay to be disappointed and even frustrated over this delay, but I feel fairly confident that our own frustration is nothing compared to what the staff of Systemera feels. Because I can promise you, nobody at Systemera is walking around rejoicing over this saying, hooray, we had to disappoint a lot of people by delaying this update. But despite the disappointment, don't forget that there is a lot of good that we can take away from this. First, Systemera is the kind of studio that is not content to drop an update that is going to cause a huge setback for a lot of players. Second, Systemera is the kind of studio that hears players' feedback, takes it into careful consideration, and adjusts their plans when appropriate or necessary. And third, when we do get the update, it will be much better than the version I was able to show you yesterday. And all of these things are reasons why I continue to play Astroneer year in and year out. Sure, I enjoy the game a lot, but I also know that, unlike a lot of other games I have played, it is coming from a developer who values player feedback and is not content to drop an update on us that would cause problems. So we will see the second automation update when it is finally ready, and it'll be awesome. Honestly, I really doubt the delay is going to be very long, because it's really only a couple of things that need to be adjusted. The last official news we had came from Veronica at System Era, and she said that the update had been pushed to tomorrow. And she mentioned that it's a good idea to keep an eye on Twitter for more details. So this might be a good time to go follow Astro here on Twitter so that you can stay in the loop. And I hope that you'll join me on Friday night at 7 p.m. over on twitch.tv forward slash Vainglorious Gaming where I will be continuing work on my current mountain removal project. But until then, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay Vainglorious.